RJ, do you ever do brunch time pods just to do early Corona lockdown? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I do. Do you think Sean Wade is still worth a first round pick after these past few games? Yeah, he had to pick six to kind of show that. I think there's more he wants to put on tape, but like, yeah. Jahan Dotson has been sunning everybody. Like, that's the only time I've seen him actually get torched for the entire game. So, yeah, I, I think so. Uh, and, you know, because corners and, and safeties are really, well, corners more than safeties are, are harder to come by. Yeah. And he wanted to show that he could play outside corner, though I think somebody's going to put him in the slot. Uh, hey, RJ, you always have cool stuff behind you. Could we get a studio tour at some point? Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe. I won't rule that out. Uh, I meant... What? Oh, would I ever do them again? Yeah, I would. Um, I just haven't wanted to do it here of late because I've gotten a little unruly in the chat because I got a bunch of people showing up here to tell me that the coronavirus is, is a lie and that masks are worthless, and I'm just not here for that. I'm on very I'm on I'm on the other side of that discussion, and I don't put up with a whole lot of discussion on the matter. With his limited showcase, would you consider DJ Ui Ungalale a top five quarterback, college quarterback right now? Yes, I would. You know why? Because I can only think of two places where he won't start. One of them is the place that he is actually playing quarterback at, right? The other one is in Ohio State, and you can make an argument about Alabama, but he'd start there too. Right? I'd say that Bryce Young had, had been starting there. So maybe that's three. Right? That's three. Depending on how you feel about Ian Book, that's four. That's it. Right? So that's that's four out of the top five teams in America. So yeah, 100%. Um, let's see what we got. Sam Ellinger, sadly, is barely a second rounder. Sam Ellinger might not get drafted. Like, you don't understand. That man gets drafted as a H-back, as a tight end, maybe even as a tailback. I don't think he gets drafted as a quarterback, though. I, I really don't, man. He's not looking good. Do you think Zayvon Collins is a first-round pick? It's possible. The way that Zayvon Collins has been playing, he could also win the Bednarik Award, if not the Buckus Award, best defensive player, best linebacker in the country, respectively. Because the way that that man has been the talisman, for my Tulsa Golden Hurricane, say that tongue in cheek, has been outstanding, man. Hominy is out here showing out. Zayvon Collins is that dude. Let me see. What do we got? Uh, did Bridges have more than one violation? I don't think so, dog. Like, he was pretty loud about it on Twitter saying he's been tested a bunch of times since being suspended. And Ronnie Perkins and Ramadre Stevenson apparently have been cleared to play, and he hasn't. I don't know what it's going to take for him to be eligible because at this point, it's, 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 it's no longer funny. It's just annoying and angering. And when you got Lincoln Riley wetting everybody's appetite saying his game is similar to Tylen Wallace, you really want to see him out there and developing. So, I mean, that's, that's what's up. Uh, dude says, yo, RJ, big fan, first live show. Hey, congratulations for being here. Appreciate that. Uh, let me see. Brian Zelaski says, virus ain't no lie. It is exactly right. No people who have died from it. Mask won't hurt. Don't know if it helps either. Like, that's the other part that I get, right? That, or that I don't get. Even if you don't believe in wearing a mask, do it to make us feel better. You know? Even if you don't believe racism exists, and it does, act as if it does, okay? Like, it's, just, it's, it's about decency, right? It's about humility. It's about people are more important than you. It's about not being self-centered. Uh, let's see. How about Tulsa this year? Yeah, I mean, like, I, was, I, I thought that Phil Montgomery's going to get fired if he didn't show out this year, and they have two top 25 wins. First time that's ever happened in the same season in program history. And they're ranked inside the top 25 for the first time since 2010. I graduated from Tulsa in 2010. It's been that long. Uh, let's see. Would, weed shouldn't even be on a test. It shouldn't, but it, it, it was. So there it is. Um, dude says he's a Panthers fan. Okay, Eric Reed, stand up. Uh, let's see what we've got. Like Steve Cradthorpe and Todd Graham, do you think bigger schools will try to hire Philip Montgomery? 
Bro, I hope so. Bro, I hope so. Like, I am not the dude that's buying into Philip Montgomery to stay at Tulsa forever. I've never been that guy. I think he's cool. He's all right. But I'm not going to turn down nothing but my collar if they decide that he wants to move on. Rhett Lashley is out there. Hello? I mean, you, you got dudes. Bill Beatonbow is right over there at OU. It ain't like nobody else wants the job, okay? Let that man walk if that's what he wants to do. Uh, show some love for Sooners, No Limit Speed, D, holding no... I mean, dude, you just got here. What did I end up talking about? Uh, let's see. I think Tulsa gives Cincinnati a run for their money. I, I still don't think they win. But I think it's a run for their money. And I think that's all you can ask for right now is a run for their money. West Virginia defense about to give Rattler hell. Um, <laughs> okay, dog. Okay. Penn State fires Franklin. Who can they get better? They better keep him. I mean, it's not just that. They owe him $38 million if they, if they fire him. That's his buyout. Which is stupid. <clears throat> you owe them at $40 million after an 0-5 start. No, nah, they stuck with him. They're, they're 100% stuck with him. Man, dudes is showing up late to the chat asking the same questions that I've addressed. Let me see. With Graham doing good, is Davis getting his job back? And what's up with Rambo? I think Rambo's just having an off year. And Marvin Mims is really that good. Theo Weiss is really that good. As for Davis and Graham... I think you're still going to see a battle out there. Like I, I like the idea of having dudes that you can throw in four at a time because like Trey Brown was getting picked on. And Trey Brown has been getting picked on all year. So maybe you want to move one of those dudes to the other side because I get that he's your senior leader, but damn. Something got to give. They keep throwing at you for a reason. No, nah, I like having four or five dudes that we could play a corner. Jaden Davis, Woody Washington, Kendall Dennis, if he can get there. Josh Eaton, if he can get there to go along with DJ Graham. Like, I, I like that. Uh, Click Clack says, excited for your book. Have you considered putting it on tape when you release it? Actually, the rights to the audio book have already been sold. And it will come out the same time that the book comes out, which I think is uh, going to be like fall 2022. Uh, did BYU decline a match offer from Washington State? Washington State has the coronavirus. They can't play. Um, Etienne is the guy, Najee is second. Uh, that's coming from a Bama fan, too. Uh, let's see. Do we have anything else I want to get to? Do you think the college football playoff should go to eight teams? Carlos, I believe that you're new to the channel, and I will refer you to the comments. I refer you to the chat. They will fill you in. Uh, we keep RJ for two hours live. <laughs> Maybe one day, right? Maybe when there's somebody that's sponsoring the live show and I'm not just doing it because I love y'all and I like doing this stuff live. It's fun. It's also a mean flex because I'm using this DSLR. I got the lamp. I got the lamp. I got this really expensive national sports talk radio quality mic. It's a, it's a flex and I like doing it. And sometimes y'all are cool. Like today, y'all are really cool. Uh, must be the noon crowd or something. I don't know. Usually we do this at three o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, OSU over Bama. Bama only has one receiver. Nah, dog. Bama got not just Devontae Smith. They got Slade Bolden. They got Miller Forstall. And they got John Mitchie. They're cold. They're good. They're going to light you up. It's about can you light them back up? Can you win a 45-42 game? Oh, Ohio State could. I don't think Ohio State wants to do that. You want to go into that thing thinking that you're going to have an opportunity to stop that that offense with your defense. Have you seen Haynes King? I'm a big Haynes King fan. Uh, I think he's going to be pretty good when he gets an opportunity to play the position next year. I liked him coming out of Longview. Anybody that can run 50 point in the 400 meters and still play quarterback gets a seal of approval from me. All right. That is going to do it for this live show. If you like the show, please subscribe to the channel. I upload a video every single day, uh, four times a day, most of the time, right? At noon at 3, at 5, and at 6 local time. Or download the RJ Young Show podcast on uh, wherever it is you get your podcast. Upload there twice a week. Uh, nobody's sponsoring the podcast, so it's like commercial free, which is like a rarity in these days. So if you're over there, please leave a five-star review. And I will check y'all out here in, uh, what, 
few hours. And for that, with that, I will say, doses.